Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. So I thought, um, as I'm regularly being asked uh, how I edit my photos and what I use to do so, I thought I'd make a video showing you exactly uh, what my thought process is when it comes down to editing photos. I'm gonna make this video in two parts. So in this first part, I'm gonna talk about or show you uh, the base of my photo editing process. And in the second one, I'm gonna show you like the complete fully edited photo and how I get there. But first, uh, I'm just gonna quickly answer a few uh, questions that I've had, uh, which are, uh, let me just put you there. Uh, is it working? Sort of. All right, we're good. So the first thing uh, would be, what do I use? So I use Lightroom Classic. The only time I use Photoshop is to make YouTube covers and it always takes me so much time because I don't like Photoshop. I have no idea how to use it. Or I always struggle with it. And yeah, it's not really my thing. So I keep everything into Lightroom Classic. Second thing, do I use presets? Uh, I do and I don't. I have my own preset and not presets because I only use one. And that's what we're gonna start off with this uh, first video, this part one on what is my photo editing process. Let's jump into Lightroom. The sun is going through the window. Have like a bunch of dots on the face. Fancy. So now we're in Lightroom and I have selected a photo that I'm gonna edit. So this is the raw file. As you can see, it's pretty underexposed. I do this pretty often because I'm most of the time shoot at either like sunset or blue hours. So when the sun is past the horizon line and I'm the kind of photographer that really insist on keeping my ISO to 100, but you'll see that we can fix that pretty easily. So anyway, as you can see here on the left side, I have my preset. So this is the base preset. Uh, so I'm not going to apply it right away. I'm just going to break it down and show you exactly what it uh, includes. It's not a lot of things. It's going to be pretty straightforward. And in the end, I'm going to show you how to create a preset here uh, in Lightroom. It's pretty straightforward. It's really easy to do. Anyway, so the first thing I do when it comes down to uh, photo editing is go down or here to the lens correction tab and turn um, both of these on so it corrects the as you can see the chromatic aberration um, of your lens and it detects uh, what lens you use to take um, this photo so in that case that was my 70 to 200 uh, F4G OSS Sony telephoto lens. This is especially useful on wide angle shots where you can get a lot of distortion. So once it's done, I usually go to the crop tool so I can crop my photo, work on my horizon line and all. So for this specific photo, as it's underexposed, I'm just gonna bring up the exposure a little bit so I can see. Uh, where the horizon line is. This photo has been shot in portrait mode, so we're just gonna crop it uh, four by five. That's perfect for Instagram, isn't it? And I'm just gonna see, so my horizon is there. I usually click on the auto um, from Lightroom, but it doesn't really work all the time. So sometimes it's just, uh, I have my horizon line right here. So I'll just drag manually my horizon line and and there you go and then this is it looks uh, pretty straight to me and i'm just gonna crop the photo uh, the way i want it to be cropped so most so i think in that case um mm -mm, thinking do i want um, my subjects right here to be in the middle of the frame so they're just a little bit to the left right here or do i just want it that way i'm not sure let me see if i crop it a little more Okay, I think that's gonna be better. So I'm gonna put my horizon line on the, you know, root of thirds from the top to the bottom. I'm gonna put it on the first uh, line right here. And let's see, uh, I think that looks pretty, pretty good. I wanted to keep a little bit of a foreground right here just to give more depth to the photo. Um, I think that that looks all right. So now what I do afterwards, I usually go to detail and I'm going to sharpen for a subject. So the my subject, so I can just check there, I can see that the focus area is, well, the subject of the photo here, the silhouettes, uh, that's great, it's in focus, uh, but I'm just going to mask it out. So I think that looks sharp enough. Next up, I usually go to the tone curve uh, tab right here and I create a really light S curve. So it's sort of classical. So it creates a little bit of contrast, but not too much. And it fades out uh, the extremes right here, which uh, I like the look of. And finally, for the tabs, I usually go into the basic ones. So this one is usually at zero. Uh, 
for the exposure. And what I personally like to do is just uh, slightly uh, decrease the clarity. And the last thing is that I always bring down the saturation of my photos. And I usually put my saturation between minus 20 and minus 30. And I increase the vibrance. So for those who don't know, the vibrance is uh, the main colors of your image. So in that case, I'd probably be like the orange, yellow and blue tones and the saturation is the overall so that is basically what i do what my uh presets so the base one right here is made of uh, i just added a few filters because then when i start editing i use filters so right here so just to already have them set up even though i'm not like modifying any setting of this uh, in this filter within these filters i usually just set one up right here and i also use linear gradients just to shape my photo uh usually uh, one at the top one at the bottom so I'm not going to do anything with it yet, but this is usually the setup that I have. This is basically the uh, preset that I use, the only one, uh, because I personally like to um, specifically edit each photo and each shot. This is something that I like to do. It's just out of, sorry, do it just out of pleasure, I guess. Only using the base ones. So if you can see like right now, we have the base one. If I click on the base, that should be pretty similar. You see, there you go. And so now if you wanna um, create a preset, so let's say that you have fully edited your photo and you wanna create a preset, uh, once you are happy with your edit, the only thing you have to do is just go there on the left side and just press this plus symbol, create a preset, uh, and then you can uh, you can see that here you so you can name it so we already have the base one let's say I'm gonna sorry like base example YouTube uh, I'm gonna put it in the folder editing base but you can create one a new group of uh, you know of presets and then you can select specifically what um, settings you want your preset to uh, hold, you know. If you want, um, I wanna have the mask, three masks that I have there already. So we have the sharpening, we have already the lens correction, the vibrance, the saturation, the clarity, the tone curve. So if I have, um, you know, like in the case where I wanna give it a look, um, I'm gonna probably tick uh, this HSL color tab. Uh, the transform you can choose or and the color, color grading for the look as well uh, but you know you can always uh, change or tick whatever you want uh, your preset to include and yeah and you just have to create it right here and this is just gonna show in the group you've saved it into so that was pretty much it I really wanted to keep this video short that's why I'm doing it in two parts and also I'm probably gonna post this photo um, either tonight or tomorrow on my Instagram. If you guys want to see the fully edited photo before it comes out in the part two video, I invite you to go check out my Instagram. I post on a daily basis and I invite you to follow up if that's something you like. If you are interested in the second part and don't want to miss it, I invite you to click on the subscribe button. I invite you to subscribe. That helps me a lot. Otherwise, yeah, I'll see you guys soon in the second part of this video where I'm going to show you uh, uh, the complete final edit. I hope you guys have a good one and I'll talk to you soon.